Hello everybody, got a video here on this here salamander or forced air heater, whatever you want to call it. But got the light blinking on it, what's happening on it, it'll go to start up and it'll go right back off. And it's not detecting any flame on it. So we're going to tear it apart and I'm going to show you how to check, not how to check, but actually how to change as photo cell sensor in it, which is the problem. I've already checked it out and had it apart, but they're pretty easy to do. First off, you got like four little screws that's holding this top on, and they're a 516, so you can use a Phillips. And there's one here, one here, and on the other side, there's one here and one there, and this here top just comes off like that. And the part we're looking at here is right here. And there's a little cell down there. And they're about like the night lights that have outdoors that come in, come on at night and go off in the morning. That little cell detects when it's dark and when you have the light from the sun or just the daylight. But on this here one, it detects the flame that's inside here that puts out your heat. There's a little hole down here and it kind of slides up against it and it detects that flame in there. So on this hair model you got to take a side off. Some of them there's just a little panel and you can take the screws out of it it'll come off. On this one there's a little screw in the back which is right down here and it's a Phillips screw and there's one on the front right in the center of it too and that'll just let this cover come off and the wires we're wanting is this here one that runs up to that photo cell just unhook that by pushing that little clip and it'll come out of there and I have a replacement one here they're kind of universal this one comes with an adapter to fit other models and it has the same little deal down in there as the little photo cell this one's made a little bit different inside it, but it does the same thing. You'll want to run your wire back down through the hole that it came out of there. And that just slides into that. You'll have to bend it a little to get it to go in. Make sure it snaps into that little bracket. And you have your wires there just go ahead and plug those back in make sure you don't bend the terminals there and you just put this back together pretty much in reverse there. there's two little tabs that snap in to kind of hold it and you'll have your two screws you'll want to put back in we'll go ahead and reset this and we'll fire it back up And that's all there is to changing one of these photo cells. There's a way you can check them with a multimeter. I didn't show that, but there's other videos I think showing how to do that if you wanted to. 
The photo cell for this one was about $20. I'll put a link down below. And like I said, they're kind of universal. They fit several different models. So don't forget to like my videos, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And have a great day, everybody. Bye.